G'day. In today's video, I'm replacing the screen and screen assembly on a Samsung Galaxy A12. So what I've purchased is a service pack, which contains the following, which does make it considerably easier to do. So to begin with, I've had it sitting on my blue heat pad here at 75 degrees Celsius. I'm going to use the Sim Eject tool to pop this open. I'm not sure how required it is for this particular model as we will be separating the back back half from the front once I find the correct tool to do so which I seem to have misplaced so I will attempt it with this one there we go Go. Now we're open. Here we can disconnect the fingerprint scanner home button. We'll use a pair of tweezers for that one. And flick that up. Now we can remove this one. So from here I'm going to take out all the Phillips head screws using a triple zero. Phillips head. Yeah, me memory serves me correctly. All these screws are the same size, so we don't have to be too concerned about these ones just yet. I believe the ones inside or under this cover will be of different sizings. We'll find that out in just a moment. Once we get in, we would do want to disconnect the battery. I'm going to grab a small Phillips head screwdriver, which should assist me in opening this. There we go. And we're in. Next up from there, disconnect the battery. And we'll disconnect the antenna. Just lifted that up. Disconnect the display and charger port. Now from here, we do have one Phillips screw just here, which as I mentioned, it is of a different color. From there, I should be able to lift this out. Bingo. So I'll put that aside just for now. We'll work our way down to the charger port and do the same thing again. There we go, take that off, disconnect here, should be able to lift this up. There is a bit of adhesive attached down here, so that came from here. Right, put that aside for now. Next up, we want to compare what we have here with what we've got on the replacement. As I mentioned, this one is a service pack, so it does contain a lot of little things that normally you wouldn't have. One, some poorly placed foam here. We've got the loudspeaker already there, so we don't have to move that. The little microphone duct is already there. I do have to remove the battery and the vibrating motor. 
earpiece speaker is already there, so I don't have to worry about it. Nor do I have to worry about the small little thermal pad. So I will proceed. Uh, to begin with, I'll take out the vibrating motor. Lift it up and out perfectly fine. Drop it into here. Did take the adhesive with it, but for some weird reason, it's not very sticky. I'll bend this bit down, put it back in. Now we're stuck. Next up, I want to remove the battery. So I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol along here and up here. Give it a second. And then I should be able to pry that out. There we go. I will have to replace the adhesive on that. That's now alright to move out of the way. Bring back the replacement. Turn off my thermal pad. I no longer need any extra heat. Now from here I'm going to reinstall I'll go the daughter board first, the charging board. So it lines up in the position. Feed the antenna cable in there. And fold over the flex connector, click it in. So it's now connected it to the main primary flex cable. From here, there's no extra screws under here, so we just need to put this back over the top and push down and put the screws back into that. Now, if you're not buying the service pack, it's going to be considerably more steps just to replace the display only. So typically, I only buy the display as a service pack as I find the price for them to be reasonable in my region. And then I don't have to deal with any dud screens, faulty screens, or any of those issues. Granted, I think I had one dud screen, and that's been out of probably about 50, if not more. So I'm perfectly happy with that failure rate. Now, next up I'll put the main board back in. Take off this, line it up. Also remove the front facing sensor, or the front camera. Now I should just be able to fold these up, drop it in. Unscrew. Go. Push. There we go. That's in place. Just tracing over that to push it back into its location. There we go. Next up from here, let's make sure those cameras are sitting right. Next up, need some tape. Just to retake that battery back down. So, so I'll put one here, one here. Lift that up. Lift this up. There we go. Looking good. Usually, what I like to do is reconnect the battery first. Line it up, put the battery back in, and then disconnect it. So then we know that no matter where you put that battery, it's going to fit. Next up, let's put in this flex connector back down. Line it up over the top, wobble it a little bit, and then push down. The wobbling of it means if you don't feel any movement as you try and wobble it, it's typically located in the right spot. Now I'll reconnect the battery. Similar scenario, line it up over the top, wiggle it, push down to click. So we've got the antenna, daughter cable, battery. Now we need to put we've got a black screw back in as well. 
Now we're right to put these back on. There we go. Back to our triple zero Phillips head screwdriver. Trying to put a hole in the battery. Didn't say try, said try not to. So these screws are fairly rough screws, so they typically are not as smooth to go in and require a bit more torque as opposed to ones that have fairly fine thread on them these ones have very chunky Next up after this, there we go. Next up after this is reconnecting the fingerprint scanner power button. So fold that over, line it up, push down, there we go. Fold it back over the way that it came. Then should just be able to fold it like a book. Go, I'll close it like a book. Click, 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 click. Sim tray. In, power button on. And from there, you should be all good with your Samsung Galaxy A12. Hope this helps. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.